In the following video, I am going to walk you through the six core concepts that will help get you started in Clo. Download the training folders from the link below and follow along. First, we will learn general navigation. Go to the core folder on the left-hand side and then double left click into one navigation. Open up the first file that says 103D navigation. You can either double left click to open or if you right click on this file, you will find add to workspace. That will also be an option to open a file that's linked to your library. To practice navigation, let's close the 2D window and keep the 3D window open only. As I explain navigation, the direction I will be giving is for users using a three button mouse. This is the navigation tool we recommend, at least for learning purposes. Most users agree this is the most comfortable type of navigation tool to use. So the 3D window has three modes of movement. The first is rotation. If you hold down your right mouse button and move around, that will rotate around your object. The second is your scroll wheel on your mouse. If you move that forward and backward towards you like a wheel, it should pull your object towards you or away from you. So one, rotate, two, zoom, and the third mode of movement in the 3D window is to pan. And you do this by holding down the scroll wheel as a button. So the same button that you were using to zoom in and out, hold that down as a button and you can pan your screen. If the wheel of your mouse is loose in some way or you cannot easily control it one snap at a time, it will feel like it's not working correctly. You should be able to have really good steady control of your zooming function. It should not feel uncontrollable or, or too fast that you can't stop or start it where you want to. So with these three movements together, you can basically move around in your window however you please at any time. Next, let's practice navigation in the 3D window using an avatar. First, let's make sure that we have the correct tool selected. We need the Select Move tool. Then, to delete the object that we have in our 3D space, you can either left-click on the object and hit the Delete button on your keyboard, or you can right-click on that object and hit Delete Avatar. Next, move your cursor to the library window and locate the avatar folder towards the top of the default folders. Double left click to open that folder. To add an avatar into the workspace, you can either double left click, you can right click once and add to the workspace, or you can drag and drop it, and that's the same as just left clicking. In the 3D window, there are some shortcuts that will help you while moving around, and those can be found in the right-click menu of your general 3D window. When you right-click, you will find shortcuts for a front, back, left and right side, and so forth. And they all correspond to a number on your keyboard, so if instead of using the right-click menu, you just simply hit a number, you can quickly jump to different views.
Also, this is helpful if you move around so much that you lose your avatar. If you hit two or any of those shortcuts, it will bring that back into view. Now let's move on to learning navigation in the 2D window. In the bottom right corner, you can click on 2D window. Now the 2D window has two modes of movement. You can zoom in and out, the same scroll wheel button you use to zoom in the 3D window. Here you can zoom inward and outward here. And you can pan. So panning, you hold down the scroll wheel like a button also and move that around. Okay, I'm gonna open up both my windows now by hitting this icon here. So you can move around in either window with them both open at the same time. The 2D window just has no rotate. The functions are exactly the same as zooming in the 3D window with the scroll wheel or panning by using the scroll wheel as a button. If you right click and try to move in the 2D window, you will feel nothing will happen, but when you let go, you will actually get the 2D window right click menu. So that concludes the basics of navigation in Enclo using a standard three-click mouse.